from here atop Lookout Mountain all the way up there. This is all part of the top of the mountain. And that's the Tennessee River. The Cumberland Plateau is an example of a dissected plateau. A dissected plateau is a type of plateau that has been eroded to such that there is a lot of sharp relief. The elevations change suddenly. You can tell this is a plateau with the flat tops. You can see how flat it is on the top. You can tell that's a plateau. It looks like a lot of canyons and buttes out there. This is part of a dissected plateau. It's been eroded to such that you can tell where the elevations kind of shift. You can tell where it's just, you know, goes up suddenly in some places. The slopes are very steep. It has a rugged look, but the rugged look is shaped by erosion. That is a sandstone outcrop over there, and it's a big part of what the Cumberland Plateau is made of. Made of limestone as well, also sandstone, and with this being the type of rock that is sedimentary, it erodes a little easier than other types of rock. And with the erosion taking place, with the weathering taking place, a lot of sharp cliffs are formed. And the dissected plateau is formed. There is a big difference between how dissected plateaus are formed and how mountains are formed. Mountains are formed through orogenic processes. Folding, the converging of plates. That is often how mountains are formed. A dissected plateau, on the other hand, is formed through erosion. The sharp relief, the high gradients, the steep slopes. Erosion plays a big part of that. And it's a big part of what type of rock is in this area. As mentioned earlier, this is sandstone. And this sandstone plays a big part in why the dissected plateau is formed. Sandstone being softer than other types of rock. It erodes a little easier. It's a sedimentary rock. And it's a big part of why the dissected plateau is formed here. The Tennessee River cuts through this valley plays a role in weathering and erosion. Think about the water, think about the rain that has fallen. Think about all the forces that have formed this dissected plateau. Geomorphology is a subfield of physical geography. It is about physical processes that shape the earth. Geography is dynamic because the earth is always changing. So many things keep changing because of the physical processes that keep changing. Erosion is just one part of that. If you like this video, check out other videos on this channel. And as always, be sure to leave a comment, like, and subscribe.